Hi guys and welcome to Madibu Gorge. This is a level which I dreaded as a kid, uh, mainly because I suck at controlling the kayak. I still do suck at controlling the kayak, but I don't feel quite so neg negatively about this level as I used to because I have improved a bit with the whole kayak thing. But I do die a lot and I probably will do once again. Well, quite a few times probably. But don't we all? Uh, if you go right, you press a button, it opens um, like a trap door back where I was, where I collected a small medipack, uh, takes you to a kayak, and then you complete the level the short way. If you do that, you miss out on uh, at least one secret, and obviously I'm um, collecting the secrets, and so I have to go the longer way. The only purpose come down here is to save game crystal. Um, I rate them enough to want one. And then push a button in order to open that in order to get back up. Of course, it's not mandatory. You can just climb straight across here if you still wish. I mentioned this in the regular no kills run, but I'll say it again. This level is not, like, hated by everyone. Um, Sheepman from the Tomb Raider forum uh, thinks very highly of this level, though I doubt he'll be watching this video because he's not been on the Tomb Raider forum much. Uh, I think he's sort of losing interest in Tomb Raider, so he probably won't be watching this. But yeah, Sheepman from the Tomb Raider forum thinks very highly of this level, especially the kayak, even though most people um, dislike it. But you know, our opinion's our opinion, his opinion's his opinion, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say I hate this level, I just don't particularly like it. bit dark. I'll use, I'll use flares when necessary. Hope I don't run out. I've not played this level enough times to know it well, but the razor wire bit, I think you have to go down that way to avoid hitting it. I think if you just jump, um, I think you end up landing in it, but I'm not 100%. I've not had enough practice with this level. Oh yeah, if you do a no-kills run, you're almost certainly going to get poisoned here, but, um, oh well. Once again, it's not mandatory, it's just for a safe game, Crystal. I've not used a health pack yet, because they'll probably get me again with their poisonous attacks. Which would mean I'd end up using, like, more than one medipack. If you get poisoned and you use a medipack and you get poisoned again, you have to use another medipack. And it doesn't really seem that worth it to me. It's better just to let them poison you a couple times than just use a medipack, that way you're only using one.
and then it's through here where we encounter our very first secret. Now I will say, if you've ever been able to ever miss this secret, you deserve a medal, because I have never been able to miss this secret, and I just don't get how anyone ever possibly could miss this secret. It's blatantly obvious, and I initially thought this was the proper way you were meant to go, until I realised the actual way. Now, I don't really want to give you getting poisoned again, so let's take this route. If you take this, this, the secret, um, you would end up uh, up here somewhere, that's where you would come out. Um, and then you would just go along this way and go up here. But regardless if you get the secret or not, you have to go this way. It would probably be easier to make the secret like chime and then go this way. Just the way of the secret, there's fire and sometimes it's kind of easy to land in the fire pit and die. <coughs> and then secret number two is coming up. I believe it just requires sort of a accurate jump. There are these secrets that the, the chime sound occurs before you actually reach the items, so you don't actually need to pick any of the items up, but it's better if you do. Or at least during a regular run anyway. Because during a regular run, you would be able to kill the enemy that I wanted to avoid when I was faced with the first secret. In order to get back, you need to jump onto that bit there. So you need to jump at such a way where you don't end up hitting that bit up there, because that can affect your jump. But it was successful. Because Temple of Puna will be after this, of course. Um, and then that will be the end of the South Pacific section. And then it will be the London section after that, of course. Uh, the London section is probably my favourite, followed by Nevada. And then probably... India. And then here, and then Antarctica. Find the switch quickly, though be careful, because the crocodiles are quite nasty.
I think London's my favourite section because um, the only level which I'm not particularly fond of is Ludgate. Other than that, I like it. Be sure to when don't go down too fast. Like sort of like row backwards as well because you don't want to go down with too much speed because um, a four can you know cause damage. So just before going over the edge, start to go backwards a bit. If possible, go to the left in order to get rid of the trap, the blade things. And try and turn around, though things like that, like the walls, can make it harder. There and save her. Now it's time for a frustrating bit which um, drove me nuts during my regular no kills run. Do not go that way, do not go to the left. Stay, go forwards, forwards, no, no, don't go back, go forward. Good. Keep going. Good. Half the job done. Wait, no, don't go back. No, don't go back. Forwards. Go forwards. Faster. Okay, but now it's half the job done. Now try and get through the narrow pathway just here. Sort of. The current does make it kind of tricky. I do not want to be here. Oh, don't force me this way. I don't want to be here. Oh, look, a boulder. This bit is very frustrating, in case you can't tell, because the current keeps making it hard to get in there. And you've got the wars as well knocking you off course. And now I'm actually stuck. Go through. Thank you. Here I just go as fast as possible. That way the razor wire does less damage. Reduce speed a bit. Never mind the safe game crystal. And now we have to go up one of these, I think. So they both look too steep. That's definitely too steep. I need to get away from the wall. It's really hard to row when you've got the wall like against you. Oh yeah, I know this bit now. Yeah, this is where we want to be. Okay. 
if at any point you um, land in the water, you are dead. Because um, if the piranhas don't kill you, this stuff will. So yeah, it's very important that you stay in the kayak, do not get out of it, and yeah, do not accidentally land in the water at any point. Apart from the water that's just on the left, this is like the only safe bit. Apart from the end bit where obviously you have to get out. Forwards. Ideally, you could get you could get into a position where you can jump out and land on the ground bit rather than go in the water because otherwise the crocodile will do damage. But you can't always get it right. I might be too far away, but I'm just going to try it if I'm able to jump out. If I'm able to jump out. And I'm in the water. I'll use small medipacks, packs, I've got far too many of those. Wait for our green friend to sort of get here and then go past. And we're safe. Obviously the fire, if you get, if you touch the fire, obviously you're dead. Because fire will kill you, and if you drop and land in the water, you will die from the water as well. That's the downside about this level, um, it's very easy to die. A bit like Lost City of Tinnus, really, where one mistake, you're dead. And where's the safe bit? Just here. I don't want to lose the progress, I think it's time I saved again. I won't be bothering of the rocket launcher, because for this challenge it's not a particularly useful weapon. It's got poor accuracy, you don't get much ammo for it, and I believe if you kill an enemy it counts as two kills, so that may only apply with the grenade launcher in Tomb Raider 2. But yeah, if you're doing a no kills run, obviously you can't afford for, you know, the death of one en enemy to count as two. That's the third and final secret. Oh yeah, when you jump back, Grab the left bit. If you grab the right bit there, you just automatically just let go and fall in. If you go on this side, you don't fall in. Okay, I somehow lost grip there. Fortunately, it didn't cost me anything. Go past the fire, then you've got two paths. The one on the right is where you go to complete the level. The one on the left has items, so we'll obviously go left first.
flares and shotgun ammo, I'll just take the flares. I don't even think I have a shotgun, and I won't be missing it either. So yeah, so with India done, Nevada done, South Pacific half done, that just leaves London and Antarctica, so I guess I'm more than halfway through. But, um, Antarctica is, is probably the longest section, so I've still got a fair way to go. Be sure to keep as high as possible because um, if you touch the water stuff, whatever it is, um, it will kill you. So try and keep as high as possible so you don't get touched by it. I have until the 14th of January to do as many like challenges and playthroughs and recordings as possible. The 14th of January is when I go back to university, so I'll try and make the most of this time I have. It's Today is the 22nd of December, though when this gets uploaded it will probably be quite a bit later. And at university I've been having a few driving lessons, I thought it was time I started learning to drive. I'm learning on an automatic because automatic is easier and um, where I'm not very good at anything practical I like to you know do the easy option. Got a boulder here just running crouch. Got another boulder just running crouch. Then this other boulder, you can either run to the middle, jump down and grab the ledge, and then pull yourself back up when the boulder's gone, or you can just go for it. Avoid the fire. That almost had me. Another boulder. Crouch. Done. I think that's all the boulders. So yeah, I've been learning on an automatic because it's easier. I struggle with things practical. And yeah, I'm just taking the easy option really. I've had 10 hours of lessons so far, and I've been told I'm, I've been making good progress. But then the instructor has to say that, so... My first lesson there was an absolute disaster, because I couldn't drive straight. I kept sort of going a bit to the left and almost hitting the curb, and he had to keep you know, putting the wheel straight. Um, I, I did actually hit a curb um, at least once. I did 55 miles per hour on a 30 zone. Um, I drove over part of a roundabout and I almost went down the wrong way of the one way until the instructor slammed the brakes down. So yeah, my first driving lesson was an absolute disaster. Though since then I've been, I've been, ha I've been a lot better. I can now drive straight I can do all the basics, um, I'm, re I'm relatively confident with driving, um, though I'm a bit iffy with like, reversing and things like that. Though I do from time to time just make a really dumb mistake. Save game crystal down there, I've already got enough to happily continue. Do not hold on for too long, otherwise you will continue and then you have a nasty fall. But then don't let go too soon either. Because you want to actually make it far enough.
I was hoping to pass my test, um, like, at some point throughout 2013, hopefully before the summer. Because then I can drive and go wherever I please and do whatever I please. Land in it. Don't land in the. Oh, oh, you did land in it. Okay. I'll need virtually a full health, health bar. I did that as well to get rid of the poison. See, I go to a lot of football games because obviously um, I support a non league team and I go to loads of away games when watching them in the league and in cup games and stuff. And, um,. Um, usually I have to depend on public transport, um, which is a bit costly, so it'd be nice to be able to drive, and I can actually drive to some of the games and not have to worry about public transport or anything. And that's why I'm hoping to pass, like, by the summer at the latest, then um, for the next season I can just drive wherever I please. I'll save one last time. That was actually quite a successful fall in comparison to how some of them turn out. So I think I've actually been killed, well, like, with a full health bar. Well, the kayak is now pointless, so we can just dump it. So, be careful, crocodiles, they're nasty bastards. No. I'm sure their heart's in, in the right place, I'm sure they're just trying to make friends. But, you know, we don't, we don't appreciate having the shit ri ri ripped out of us. Up, 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 Fiddle stick. That was a much less successful fall. Oh dear, I'm jumping out the right side. I don't. I, I want to be jumping out the left. successful that time. I'm recording. Um, secrets, three of three, kill zero, three and a half health packs, bit iffy. Quite a long time to complete, but level done. See you in Temple of Puna. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.